We're very fortunate to have uh, Bob Noya uh, uh, back to speak with us. He spoke back in uh, uh, the fall of last year during our AstroFest, and I still get comments about uh, his, you know, his presentation. Uh, good comments, by the way. <laughs> and uh, so uh, uh, anyway, it, uh, Bob has offered uh, sort of a slightly different uh, approach to uh, an astronomy presentation, and I think uh, you'll really enjoy it. And uh, so, Bob, I'm going to let you let you take it from here. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. And are we good now, Drew? Can you see it? Yes, we can. We're good. Okay, now everybody uh, can see the the thank you slide, I assume. Y yep. Yep. We are good. Okay, yeah. great. So I just want to uh, start off by thanking uh, Patrick Manley and Drew Desker for setting this up for tonight and inviting me to give this presentation. And I want to thank everyone who helped organize this event. And most of all, I want to thank all of you for tuning in wherever you are located. Um, so this is going to be the most non-scientific, most non-technical, -te <laughs> and perhaps most nonsensical presentation I've ever given to amateur astronomers. You will learn absolutely nothing tonight about astronomy or space. But I do hope you can get a few laughs, and I'm hope, I hope that I'm able to demonstrate that astronomy is not always serious business. Uh, it can actually be very funny. Um, I hope you can all adjust your settings so you get the maximum screen to see my cartoons. Uh, I'm assuming that everyone in the audience can read English, so I'm not going to be reading them tonight. Uh, I'm going to be saying very little after my introduction which, trust me, is a very good thing. Um, I have more great cartoons than I can show tonight, so I'll just kind of keep going until Drew tells me uh, that my time is up, and then maybe leave a few minutes for Q&A. I do want to give a couple acknowledgments, and the inspiration for this presentation comes from my friend Glenn Chappell, who's a contributing editor to Astronomy Magazine. Several years ago, when I was living in Massachusetts, an editor of Sky and Telescope, uh, I attended a presentation he gave to the Gloucester Area Astronomy Club in Massachusetts about cartoons, and it was just a lot of fun. I loved it. Um, he later sent me all of his cartoons, so that gave me like a lot to choose from for tonight's presentation. And then another friend of mine from Massachusetts, Julie Kaufman, you can see me with her in 2016, uh, she also collects astronomy cartoons, so she sent me many dozens as well. And then I found a lot online. All you really have to do is Google astronomy cartoon or alien cartoon, space cartoon, and lots of good cartoons come up. So my... Cartoons tonight come from many, many different sources. Yeah, I especially want to thank Glenn and Julie. I actually belong to a, a Facebook group that's uh, Astronomy uh, Cartoons, and uh, oh, it, it, and and they get some some great ones. And uh, I usually uh, uh, clog up the uh, Astronomy Club's Discord channel with uh, with a bunch of those. So oh, great! Maybe you can share some of your favorites with me that I don't show tonight. Oh, very good. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to start off with two featured cartoonists. First up is Sidney Harris, who is probably the most famous scientunist cartoon, science cartoonist of all time. And I think probably all of you who are tuning in tonight at one time or another has seen some of his uh, creative work. I should just mention, too, if you enjoy his cartoons, I really encourage you to check out the article he wrote for the November 2014 issue of Sky and Telescope about the inspiration for his cartoons. So I'm just going to kind of go through them. I'll, you know, spend not a whole lot of time on each cartoon, but enough that you can read them and hopefully uh, soak in the humor. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Actually, I get that comment all the time up here in that uh, people come up here who live in the area and they look up and like, where did all these stars come from? That's right. And this makes fun of the fact that 
professionals really don't um, look through telescopes yeah. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. This one's a little more technical, but this is a good one. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can look up gravitational lensing, exactly. Yeah. That's about the most technical slide by cartoon in the whole presentation. Yep. I like uh, this one, yeah, in false colors, right. yeah. Well, we're going to get a whole bunch of those in false colors from uh, the James Webb. Right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yep, because it's infrared. Uh, yeah. Oh, I did, I'm not one up. All right. Yeah. Yeah, oh, this was a good one. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, we're going we're gonna to be by a black hole someday. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as they move quickly out of the uh, building. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, this is a good one, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, exactly. Never cared much for that in, uh, in school. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't either. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. having spent my 30-some years as a science journalist, I'm one of those two reporters on the left. Yeah. Okay, this one's a very famous one. I bet you yeah. many of you have seen this one. This might be his most famous cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize he, that was his. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've, I've seen you that. can see his, his signature yeah. kind of below the black, blackboard. Yep. He has very distinctive style and signature. Yeah. And by the way, that figure at the top, that is correct. That, you know, his, his cartoons are actually scientifically accurate, which makes them even better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, it's like the Big Bang Theory actually had, you know, physicists on staff to make sure that the, uh, that the science was right. Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Might have been I don't know either. <laughs> okay, now the uh, the other featured cartoonist is a, a young, much uh, you know, newer cartoonist named James Paley, uh, whose work I just recently discovered, and I really encourage you to check out his really fun website, PlanetPaley.com, and I'm going to show you a bunch of his cartoons now. And one thing that's really cool is that he lives in Allentown, Pennsylvania. I live in Hershey, about an hour's drive away. And Allentown was where my mother was born. And she's oh, wow. still alive and kicking at age 93. Wow. So, uh, you know, I just want to thank James and Sydney and all the great cartoonists who share their inspiration and creativity with the world. And I like this one, yeah. Yeah, his cartoons are just, they have a really fun and charm about them. Well, that's what Copernicus was all about, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. This is perfect for tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, and more and more to come for the moon. That's right. More, more to come. Oh, oh, this is another good Copernic uh, one. Yeah, absolutely. That's a polemi. <laughs> <laughs> I like his caricatures of the planets too. They're really fun. Yeah, yeah. All questioning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, here's a couple about Mars now. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get, it's like the Martian, but for robots. <laughs> well, we'll find and out. What, what's funny is it's possible NASA has already detected life on Mars. Mm. They've detected methane in the atmosphere on Earth. Most of the methane in Earth's atmosphere is biogenic.
Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there were Viking uh, experiments in the 1970s that possibly indicated life. So it's possible that we have actually found evidence for life on Mars. Maybe not like that kind of life that we see here, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really. <laughs> Just keep the smoke inside the electronics. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm not sure which 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 planet gets the most oohs and ahs from when 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 you look through a, a scope. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you like this cartoon, I do want to mention there's a really good movie. It was a European-made movie called Europa Report. That's about humanity's first trip to Europa, and if you like this cartoon, odds are you'd like that movie. I definitely recommend it. All right, cool, cool. I'll have to check it out. And this is a good one, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess they... So quite, Titan, of course, is a uh, the largest moon of Saturn, hmm. and it has hydrocarbons on its surface, although it's very, you know, it's like 280 below zero or something like that on the surface of Titan, it's ridiculously cold. Mm. Even colder than upstate New York in the winter. Only only by a couple of degrees. Exactly. Oh, this is a great one. Yeah. 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 Asking about our uh, uh, yeah. sending our car warranty. Oh, this is a great one. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Life is uh, this is maybe my favorite. Okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's never what you expect. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah. It's like the, uh, are you going to do the flat earth, flat earth eclipse? Yeah, I'll, I have another flat Earth later. Okay. Now yeah. this one's also a little subtle. Some, this is a, a play on yeah. the famous Schrodinger's cat experiment in physics. Right. Yeah. yeah. Especially for those people with with cats. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're right. Actually, the cat is supposed to be in the box. Right. Okay. Now, now I'm going to go uh, to themed cartoons. So since I'm, you know, giving this to amateur astronomers, the next bunch of cartoons are going to be about amateur astronomers. And, of course, here we see they're the pinnacle of evolution. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, this is a great one. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> oh, so nice. Nice, love it. I think this is actually like on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get a lot of that from the the uh, Copernic Astronomy Club uh, here. Okay, okay, this one's really oh. good. <laughs> Yeah, that pretty much you know maps into almost any any uh, any hobby. I'm also a ham radio operator. It's the same kind of thing. So, oh, this is a great oh, one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's um right. It just becomes this this black hole where all the money goes. Ah. <laughs> uh, Yes, absolutely. We, <laughs> we, we have that. Uh, we, we, we lose about the first 10 degrees of uh, horizon because of the uh, trees around here. Mm -hmm. But it's all right. We're doing all right. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. And those, yeah, those people with Dobbs know what this is about. Yeah, yeah. Which is actually where where our 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 
uh, wheelchair accessible telescope is is really outstanding. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and this time it's not a cloud. <laughs> Okay, now the next several are about the night sky. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my daughter calls me the fake astronomer for pretty much the same reason. <laughs> It's only a matter of time. Yeah. As per people can probably guess, this one and a bunch of others come from the New Yorker magazine. Uh, right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, murder. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 pieces, love it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> yes, the electric bell. Although you can say they're all solar powered. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, yep. Yep. Survey <laughs> HBO. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, we don't get to see more than lights very often, but um, uh, there's actually, I don't know if, uh, if you recall, we have. Back in 2003, there was this huge solar storm, and we had this picture in our computer room of the uh, of all three of our domes behind uh, this red curtain of, of, uh, of aurora. It just was outstanding. Hey, a few about eclipses and oh. transits. Yeah. <laughs> April 8th, 2024. Yeah, that's right. It's coming up soon. Yeah. Okay, now the next few are uh, about, you know, tips for eclipse chasers from a cartoonist and eclipse chaser in Jamaica named Bill Kramer. So this one is, is you know, advice about how, you know, if you're going to go see an eclipse, don't, like, try to be figuring things out, how to operate your camera during the eclipse. Yeah. Like, he's, like, trying to figure things out and everyone else is marveling at the eclipse. Right. It's not like that happens every week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not like that. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, so many times. <laughs> yeah. When's the next one? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then here's one about the uh, Venus transit. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. yeah exactly. At, at the last one, I, I was telling the kids that were walking around here. I said. Okay, the next people to see the, 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 the Venus transit will be your grandchildren. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now we're going to make fun of, of professional astronomers and scientists. Mm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I like that one. Oh. Fan oh, that you're right. We we should start. We should start a new, uh, uh, you know, a new, new way to call it. There, yeah. So this is one similar to the earlier one, except this one's about professionals. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, nowhere near a telescope. Yeah. Okay, here's one uh, far side from Gary Larson. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, here's one, yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. Oh, right. Yeah, and then some. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one's fun. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Well, I like all of them because I uh, picked them. Oh, 
Yes. <laughs> Same thing like when you're writing a paper and you forget to hit save <laughs> on your computer. <sighs> Same thing happens the uh, in the electronics lab when you're powering up your uh, a prototype for the first time. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, most of the birds aren't aren't flying at night, so that usually is not a problem. Yeah. I like that this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> okay, this one's a little sophisticated. Uh, there's going to be people, if you're not familiar uh, with this science, yes. you might not get this slide, but for people who know just a little bit about stellar evolution uh -huh. uh, and how astronomers, they use the term metal to describe every element heavier than hydrogen and helium. And the star killer is iron. When the core of a star is iron, then it, it, the star dies. And you can see that the bottom, all the heavy, really heavy elements uh, just, get ejected yeah. by supernova explosions. There it is. That, that sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> So maybe people did learn something tonight. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There it is. Oh, I had Italian pasta for lunch today. Yeah. <laughs> and what this means is when matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other. So this is uh, you know, pasta and antipasta. Okay, oh this is a good one, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go on forever. Okay, now a couple about Einstein. Uh, uh -huh. He's uh, very much a subject of cartoonists. Mm -hmm. So this came out a few years ago after LIGO discovered gravitational waves, yep. which, of course, Einstein's theory predicted existed. So, yeah. That's, that's the amazing thing about him, all the stuff yep. that we're now just finally able to prove that yeah, he had theorized 100 years yep. ago. Wow. Okay, this is the only political cartoon yeah. in the presentation, <laughs> and I thought, I thought it would be safe to include this one. I hope people aren't going to send me hate mail. <laughs> That's right. You can send it to me. Okay, uh, send it to Drew. Yeah, I, but I'm, uh, I'm with you there. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It is true. Okay. So this is related. This is uh, about relativity, black holes, and the laws of physics. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now my kids go to bed later than I do, so. Oh, this is a good one, uh, yeah. Oh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't look down. <laughs> yeah. You would, you now, would. This, this is, uh, there's a, the joke that physicists tell each other that, that goes, uh, there's only two places in the universe where, where the laws of physics are not obeyed. One of them is at the center of a black hole, mm -hmm. and the other one is Hollywood. But a boom. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this will be especially amusing to golfers. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. That's why I gave up golf. Who was it? Mark Twain said golf is a good walk spoiled. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So here's another black hole here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
just like the uh, Super Bowl uh, halftime show. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay, so then we've got a, a oh. couple here that are uh, about the Hubble Space Telescope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do have to be careful when you take your telescope out into your, into your front yard. Honestly, I'm, yeah. looking, I'm looking at the Orion Nebula. Sure you are. <laughs> okay, now this one, you have to go back to when Hubble was, this is a much yeah. older cartoon from the early 90s, when Hubble originally was launched that had a flawed primary mirror and astronauts had to be sent up to, to correct for it. So initially its pictures were blurry. Mm. So this is making fun of yeah. the early photos from Hubble. Let's hope this doesn't happen with the James Webb yeah. Space Telescope. Yeah, this one's yeah. funny. Yeah. So this <laughs> is, yeah. Yeah. Love it, love it. <laughs> Okay, now now we're getting to where Hubble's really working great. <laughs> yeah. Turn off. Of course, now it's Caitlyn, or yeah, what's what's yeah. Caitlyn Jenner? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess. <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny. We, this we, is the yeah. this yeah. is the dream of amateur astronomers, yeah. right, Drew? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Let's <laughs> get above it all. Although we actually, during the blood drive we had yesterday, I took an astro scan out with the sun funnel and was showing people the, the, the sunspot on there. So, oh, cool. They, they, no, it's hot. It's the sun. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, anyway. Oh, maybe we should do that to one of our scopes. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is uh, the next few now are about cosmology, mm. about the origin and expansion of the universe. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is a great oh. one. <laughs> so the idea behind this cartoon is that there are theories that our universe could have been created in the laboratory in a pre-existing universe, mm. and they did some kind of physics experiment, and that gave rise to the Big Bang and the origin of our universe. Now those aliens look just like the uh, one that the Polly guy wrote, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unemployment there. office. There it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, this has a little bit of political content, but not too much. Yeah. Okay, now a couple All about right. the vastness of space. Mm -hmm. You are here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank the you. Department of Astronomy, yeah. I've been in some malls that even that seems a, like the, their maps are about as helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I had to have some Calvin and Hobbes in here. Yeah, Calvin and Hobbes can be really pretty deep. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now the next few are about the asteroid impact threat. Yeah. <laughs> Space program. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just saw this recently. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what me worry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When I was teaching some fourth grade, uh, some pre-K to second graders a couple of day, uh, a couple of weeks ago about asteroids, I I sort of used this joke. But the teachers, and at least they got it. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, this must be like Canadian or British because of the way they spell center. Oh, right. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they put, they make it R-E. Yeah, we, ha we actually have a piece yeah. of, the, uh, of, the, of the Behringer uh, meteor. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, why is that? <laughs> why is that? Huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, this is good. Yeah, yeah no, I was going to say that's the next one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and this probably I bet you a lot of people tuning in tonight saw the movie Don't Look Up about uh, an asteroid hitting Earth and nobody seems to care other than the astronomers who discovered it. Yeah, I've I've, I've heard about that. I I've, I've yet to see it. So yeah. I, I liked it, the movie. I didn't love it, but I like. I'm, you know, I'm glad I saw it. I saw it once. I don't have much desire to see it again, but mm. I'm glad I saw it. Okay, now the next few are about meteor right, showers. Right. Yeah, no, nope, meteor showers do not oh, wash stars. stars. That is definitely true. Yeah. Okay, this one's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or like that car that was it was it in New York or New Hampshire that got hit by the uh, the meteor? That's right. Yeah, it was New York, uh, Peak Skill, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that far from where you are. Oh, okay. Yep. And it looks like a meteor. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it was. <laughs> oh, this is a great one. That, yeah, that happens to me so much. Like, yeah. I have a meteor shower uh, 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 event up here, and I'll be looking one direction, then I'll turn around and look at another direction, and then, like, the whole crowd goes, oh, that was great. And it's, it's yeah. Always in the direction yeah. I'm not looking. <laughs> And now the next few are about astrology and pseudoscience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Bizarro, of course. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Except yeah. to print it once and you're done. Why not? Why not? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Blame it on your horoscope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this is really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Closer to home. I love this. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. yeah, this goes, of course, back to the 2012 doomsday hopes in the yeah. Mayan calendar. I can't believe people actually believe that, that we were in trouble because yeah. of the Mayan calendar, but apparently people were, were afraid and for ridiculous reasons. I think okay, was, now back to the flat earth here, the flat earth society. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And if you're wondering about the Flat Earth Space Program. Oh. <laughs> <Slip off. laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, and this one makes fun of how the star names. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. Sure. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, yep. <laughs> All right. Oh, Mark Lynch. All right. <laughs> I guess that means men really are from there. <laughs> yeah. Yep, pretty much. Hold my beer. I want to try something. Can be married for long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is great. Thank you. <laughs> it's true. It's a, and it's quite an honor to have that chunk of ice named after you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one. I hope people won't find this a little too risque. <laughs> We'll just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you show people the uh, Hubble Deep Field and say, all right, now, <laughs> how significant do you feel? <laughs> uh, no. <nah. laughs> I haven't seen that one. That's a great one. Okay, now we're going to space travel and exploration. Now, this cartoon is not really intended to be funny. Um, I, this, I used to work at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center many years ago, and one of the uh, engineers had this on his or her door, and I photographed it. And I just, I mean, I love this, this mm. even though it's not really yeah. funny. I like the message of, in this cartoon, so I wanted to include it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so much that we learn, and, yep. and, and, and learning on the way to getting there, too. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, not, thin, not too thin to play golf. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Actually, if I can stop here for a second, yeah. we, we had an opportunity to have our students talk to an astronaut uh, on the space station uh, through our ham radio uh, set up here with one of our camps. And one of the questions the uh, uh, student asked was, what happens when you sneeze during a spacewalk? Oh, oh wow. Okay. That's a good yeah. question. And he said, well, actually, it's happened to me twice. He says, usually what you do is you, you just tilt your head down and sneeze into your chest. But, but mm -hmm. one time... You know, it caught me completely by surprise, and all the boogers went on my on my face shield, and, and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> well, I'm thinking that there you go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> this was not <laughs> this was not a setup. <laughs> yeah, that, this was not. We did not have this plan. Uh, I can promise you that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm thinking to myself, oh, that's probably the first time that one of these you know ham radio school contacts ever used the word boogers as part of the answer, so. <laughs> uh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah, this is great, yeah. Uh, absolutely, yeah, I yeah, heard that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Still people trying to say it didn't happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> one way, one way or one way up or one way down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> Oops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. And, we've had, and we've had one of them down here at Copernic uh, from time to time. We, uh, oh, cool. We get a loan from uh, from NASA from time to time. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I guess if you're ever going barbecue on barbecue and on the moon, pay attention. Yeah. And by the way, look at the le very far left. You see a little creature in the crater. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a similar joke here. Oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now the next few are about NASA, and there's a bunch related to when, you know, that NASA hasn't been flying astronauts into space uh -huh. after the shuttle program was canceled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. So there's a bunch that, that are kind of based on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although actually, the uh, the uh, displays down at, at Kennedy and uh, uh, are just fantastic. I, I was down there, and uh, they actually had a couple of uh, retired engineers, docents, and spent like forty five minutes with me and my daughter. So uh, wow, it was. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't play aerospace workers, but they they loved what they did, and uh, and really really happy to share it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> try, try the moon pies. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And yeah, this one's a little dated, but I thought people would enjoy uh, it. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, almost. We're not the only ones up there. Yeah. Yeah, and that really is true. Uh, the, uh, yeah. the astronauts are really so excited when a, when a supply mission comes up with some fresh food. Oops. <laughs> yeah, well, somewhere in between maybe it would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably some people would would decline. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so this is a mission to Mars here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be clear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, those little things that, yeah, you're right. People will snore. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shh. Huh. Oh, this is great. Oh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love oh, this yeah, one. Yeah. Oh, for the revenge. <laughs> <Huh>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's they really, they really are extremely scheduled up there. It, it really is. That's right. Hard. I think they do get some downtime though. Yeah, they but do. yeah, they are they're they are working. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
Except the space tourists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Another great dad joke. Yeah. <laughs> and I used to live in Brooklyn many, yeah. many years ago. Yeah. I lived in Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> this one's definitely yeah, very yeah, relevant yeah, to uh, yeah. right now. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming. <laughs> and this one's somewhat similar. Oh yeah, yeah. I would definitely see this one. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, now a couple about space junk, which it oh, is yeah. actually becoming a bigger and bigger problem. Absolutely. <laughs> and they're even going to take the teddy bear. Yeah. Yeah. And there's John Glenn. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I don't know if you recall the, in the movie um, Wally. They. Uh, I never saw that one, but oh, I heard it was good. It is good, and there's there's this one scene in there where. The spacecraft takes off from from Earth because Earth is sort of, you know, degrading into this just big one big garbage pit, and the rocket goes through this space junk, and all these satellites are are, are you know, space junks are, are you know ricocheting off of it. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, yeah. this also reminds me of the movie Gravity. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, I, I wasn't really crazy about it, but it was highly inaccurate scientifically, though. I think that... I mean, it, yeah. it was interesting, but yeah. it, it was not... People thought, oh, this movie's accurate. It is not accurate yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a, like if you watch a, a Hallmark movie, and it, they have musicians pretending to play an instrument, and if you're a musician, it just absolutely kills. Yeah, so you know, same, yeah. Same thing. All right, so the next bunch are about Mars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there they are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All your missing socks are on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> and the top of your Tupperware. Yeah. And this this is you know pointing out that these NASA rovers yeah. last you know much longer than they're touted to last. They've yeah. actually been amazingly successful. The 90 days yeah. they were supposed to do. And, uh, yeah, and then they go for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Oh, this is great. This is one of my favorite. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, <laughs> and Waldo. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, now the next few are about the moon and the planets. So oh, here's what the moon believes. Yeah, lunar, <laughs> lunar centric. Love it. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is so true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some days, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Before yeah. you know it, it's Monday again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So, especially up while I was gonna say we do see bear up here at Copernic from time to time. I think I've seen it twice oh, wow. in in ten years, but never when the public's been around. We we, we have okay. a deal. Yeah, I like this. Earth may contain nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Got lots. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Um, Oh, uh, now the next are about oh, poor little no, Pluto. No, I but I am a planet. Oh, poor Pluto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, this is just a fun one. I just love the look on, and this is the same cartoonist here. Yeah. Aw, uh, I miss you guys. Isn't that yeah. cute? Aw. <laughs> Now they get a little more serious. Yeah, well. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's not a planet. Not a planet. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although I'm convinced if 
if they called it anything but Pluto, they called it Aldon, nobody would care. Yeah. But because they called it the same name as the Disney character. Now, those are those fighting words. Yeah. Not, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> the two cats giving you... <laughs> And the little note, yeah. yeah. Oh, yep. oh, poor yeah. Pluto, oh. victim of downsizing, yeah. selling pencils to make money. Yep, yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is good, yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is great. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yep, no planet, planet left behind. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You're going to start at Pluto. Where are you going to start? Yeah. There. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Wow. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I apologize. My laughing is coming through a little too loud on the audio there. Just, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the next bunch are about oh. Star Trek and Star Wars. Oh, there's got to be plenty of uh, material yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Red shirts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop for a second. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, this is great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> who, who know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, this is great. Oh, bizarre. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay, now this is a two-parter. Okay. So this is part one, and you know NASA has designed a spacecraft to feed hungry astronauts on long missions, mm -hmm. and this is it. This is the spacecraft. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I want to be on that. I want to be on that mission. There it is. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Oh, okay, now we get to Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I'm glad we finally moved beyond the uh, the uh, compact fluorescent uh, you know, twisty bulbs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost Kelvin and Hobbish. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, excellent! <laughs> excellent. <laughs> hey, now there are a couple that are kind oh, of just oh, miscellaneous. <laughs> Fortunately, we we used to run a a week long astronomy camp up here, and uh, fortunately, the kids never. Uh, found this one. <laughs> okay, good. Maybe yeah. I shouldn't have shown this one. I'll yeah. give them some uh, ideas. Exactly. Yeah, okay, this is funny. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was great. <laughs> okay, this is funny. Yeah. I'll go out tonight. Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, I like this one, yeah. <laughs> All right. There it is. 
Okay, so now we've got a bunch of cartoons mm. asking the question, is there intelligent life on Earth? Yeah, that's, that's, maybe they know more than we do. Yeah. Hard pass, right? <laughs> excellent, excellent. <clears throat> True. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, goodness. Okay, now we're going to get to uh, yeah. aliens, UFOs, and abductions. And I have no idea where this sign was, but I, I like what it says. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Moving, nothing, nothing to see here. Oh, Gary Larson. Okay, so, all right. So now we we have another featured cartoonist mm -hmm. who did a lot of cartoons with aliens. Uh, so this is Gary Larson and the Far Side. Yeah. And, you know, I definitely think he was a genius. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, like, who would have thought of this? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, who, I mean, this guy had, like, this really unbelievably creative, some might say demented mind, but who would have thought oh, of yeah. this idea? Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, nobody yeah. else in the whole world. Seven billion people. Yeah, yeah. Gary Larson's the only one who would have thought of that, yeah, you know? Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Smart aliens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least there isn't toilet paper on his foot. Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of this is a weird one. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he just no, I like <laughs> this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have to look at the top there. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, True that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Really. <laughs> Oh, this is great. I love that alien. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we advise people not to touch it. <laughs> oh, yeah, really. <laughs> Haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the kid studied his astronomy in school then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, nah. right. <laughs> if they'd only follow the signs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, I know we're running near the end of my time. I'll yeah. give maybe a few more, Drew, okay, like sure, five, yeah. ten yeah. more. A couple more, yeah. Okay. So now uh, how the next few are about how aliens view us. Mm. Uh, they're running away. Uh, this place keeps yeah, getting weirder and weirder. weirder. Fertile ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're out of here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm one of the few people I've never seen Hamilton. It's it's worth seeing. It really is. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a uh, great commentary. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. Exactly. 
I still believe in advertising. Advertising. Of course, the Super Bowl now is all about advertising. People talk more about the ads in the halftime show than they talk about about the the game. game. Yeah, exactly. I'll get it. (laughs) Yeah. Nice. (laughs) Exactly. Noah's Ark, too. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Always worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Every detail yeah, is absolutely everything wrong. right. Huh. The little guy in the left there, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Well... Oh yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, here's another uh, political one. <laughs> yeah. Really. Uh. <laughs> oh. Well. Exactly. Well. Yeah. Maybe wait a while. LOL. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So this one's a little blurry, unfortunately, yeah. but I think people can still read it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, really. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this right. is great, yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. What, a year and a half ago? Yeah, <laughs> that's right, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems like we're seeing a lot more stories about those showing up. Yeah. Yeah, really. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Really true. True, absolutely. Yeah, oh, this is funny, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is one I saw in, in that one of those uh, Facebook uh, groups there, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, let's see, we're about 8.40, Drew. How, how much longer do you think we should go? Yeah, and see. I don't know if people have questions they want to ask. I'm, you know, yeah. it's not really, I'm not expecting yeah, too yeah. many, but. If people have questions, I'm certainly happy to field them. All right, I'm sort of trying to scroll back through uh, some of the chats here. Uh, a lot of ha-has and uh, thumbs up. and um, So, uh, uh, again, I really appreciate, you know, again, I think uh, uh, my, oh, Patrick says, you know, you know Wally is, a, uh, uh, is really fantastic. Gravity was heavy, he said. Okay, um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, see, these these have been great. Um, okay. And, and I, uh, you know, again, I think it's um, it's good for us just in general to you know not take ourselves too seriously. You know, to find uh, um, you know uh, where to laugh at our you know laugh at ourselves and, and uh, but ultimately, you know, I think you know what we do you know, here at Copernic and you know what we do in you know uh, in the search for uh, uh, our our position in, in the universe, you know, really, you know, is, is important work. But uh, uh, but if you can't have fun while you're doing it, then I think we need to uh, you need to re- rethink what you're doing. And, That's uh, right. And that was really the whole spirit behind this presentation. Is uh, you know, every now and then, you know, amateur astronomy clubs. I mean, it's not like they're dealing with life and death things, but. Yeah, you know, they're dealing with, you know, sometimes pretty heavy topics. So mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. thought, uh, especially we got some kind of crazy things going on in the world right now that uh, people can use a laugh every now and then. Yeah, I I, I do that myself. I, I, for once in a while, I'm, uh, I'm working up here. I just may take a, a little break and, and just say, all right, I got to, you know, I say hit the reset button, but just take a breath. And, um, That's right. 